Hello, my name is Josiah Ray. I'm going to show you how to make flaming text in Adobe After Effects. Uh, this is a great intro tool, something to kind of make your movie stand apart a little bit if you put the title in flames. So let's go ahead and take a look. So here I've kind of got my title, and uh, it just says Flame On. And if we take a quick look, you see the fire rises out of the text and just kind of continues to burn. And you can mask off the distortion at the top if you would like. And you can also alter you know, the speed and the distortion on it to your liking. It's all about taste. The basic effect, however, is going to be done with a built-in tool called Particle Playground. So you don't really need to go get a third-party plugin to do this. It is, however, very render-intensive. So what I've got is I've got the uh, particle layer actually pre-composited. So let's turn that off. The particle layer itself. is just essentially just the particle playground. And what you do uh, when you first create this, I'll recreate it for you, but when you first create it, it's going to have the cannon on. You want to switch that off and turn on the layer exploder instead. So let's go ahead and I'm going to create a new black solid. Turn that one off. So we've got just our text, and it's kind of got a, a yellow look to it to blend in with the flame later on. With our black solid highlighted, I'm going to go to Effect, Simulation, Particle Playground. And you can see it has this nice little red fountain in the middle. So we'll go to the cannon first, switch the particles per second to zero, and then come down to Layer Exploder. And when we select the layer, we're going to come down to the flame on layer with the text. So this is, as you can see, taking a very long time to render. I'm going to bring it back into the composition a little bit so it doesn't have quite so many particles. And gravity is being acted on these particles so they're falling downward. And we want them to fall upward as though it's fire. So what we do, come over to gravity and just set the direction from 180 to 0. And there you go. And the flame begins to kind of spread upward. This is pretty much all that you need to do with the basic particle effect. So I'm going to, uh, what you'd want to do is select it. You get the speed of it right and all of that. You know, turn the velocity up or down or what have you. And you would go to composition, pre-render. And this would replace that layer with a video that After Effects spends all of its time just working out the particle physics and you don't have to work it out ever again after that. So I've done that here. And I've got just my, my particles, and you can see how fast it's playing now that After Effects doesn't have to worry about generating them. What we need to do next is apply a directional blur and a turbulent displace. So um, I'll create a new adjustment layer just to show you what that looks like. Go forward a little bit in time. And I'm going to grab the effect, blur and sharpen, directional blur. As we begin to increase this blur, you see that the particles streak out a little bit. And that's, that's a very good look for what we're going for. To add the fire, the sort of organic feel of the fire, we'll go to Turbulent Displace. So I'll Effect, Distort, we'll come down to the list a little bit, Turbulent Displace. And we want to set the size of this much smaller than it is. Kind of right around there is great. So that's not quite like fire though. What we want to do is animate the offset. And we want to animate not the X offset, just the Y to flow up with the particles. So kind of in a motion similar to that. Now rather than setting keyframes constantly, what I'm going to do is animate this using expressions. So let's go ahead and we'll open up the effect. And I'm going to hold down Alt and you hold down Option on a Mac and click the stopwatch next to offset. Now this has got an X and a Y um, component to it, so you have to remember that when you're programming your expression. X and Y is denoted not with parentheses, but with brackets. So, do an open bracket, I'll just set the X to zero, comma, and I'll do time, times, oh, about 50 or so. And I'll close the bracket, and semicolon. All right, so you can see that the distort is now flowing in the wrong direction. It's going down instead of up. So instead, I'm also going to multiply this 
by negative 1. So let's take a look. And now that distort is flowing with the particles upward. Moving a little bit slowly, and we'll go ahead and set that from 50 to, let's say, 100. Moves a little bit quicker now. And you can play around the timing back and forth of this, kind of get something that you like. The last step is to get this to color correctly. So if we take our flame layer, or just the text, and put it to the front, you can see that the flame is, the text is very visible. The color on the flame is not quite right, though. So I'm going to take essentially just a red solid and use it to color that flame. So Control-Y to create a solid. I'm going to color it kind of like a darker red. And we'll switch this to overlay. OK, so it's getting there. It kind of looks all right. But again, the text is now being colored. So we want to move that text above the solid. And there you go. It's got a kind of a nice look to it. You can also mask out the red solid to only affect an area, let's say, about yay big. And we can take the mask feather and feather that out so that it looks pretty realistic. And there we go. And you can begin stacking these color layers with the overlay effect onto them and kind of color the fire maybe want to start to blue and go to yellow or red orange and go to yellow or something like that but that's the uh, that's the quickest way to make flaming text and the particles are perfectly matched to the letters you create I hope you've enjoyed this video I'm Josiah Ray